beautyinthestamper.blogspot.com. Hi beauties! Today I wanted to show you how I made one of these cute cards. Look at these little ca uh, characters. I know you know who they are. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make these guys. And uh, what we'll do today is this little guy. So um, very, very easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Whisper White cardstock and my 1 and 3 eighths punch and I'm going to punch out two Whisper Whites. Then I'm going to take my basic black cardstock and I'm going to get my 3 quarter inch punch and I'm going to punch out two of those. Can you guess what those are going to make? All right, let's do one more because I cut a little too close. Okay, then I'm going to take my Tangerine Tango and I'm going to take my Oval Punch and I'm just going to punch it out. That's a little bit too big so I want to make it smaller and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and see how big I want it. So I think I want it um, about that big. What do you think? So just line it up and punch. And if you get a little bit of that size there, um, it sticks out a little bit. And his nose is a little round, so I just take my snips and go. There's also a um, smaller oval punch that would work perfect, but I just don't have it. So for now, I'll use that. All right, I'm gonna take my snail adhesive at this point and just stick those right in the center of the eyes. Another one right in the center there. And I'll put that little guy away. And I'm gonna take my real red, and this is where my big shot comes in. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, bring in my big shot here. Um, and then I've got my scallop uh, circle die and my cutting boards. So no platform needed. And I'm going to go ahead and take that and take my um, real red cardstock and fold it in half. And then I'm going to, going to put it just a little bit, um, let's see here, where you can see it, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, not where you can see it, I'm not thinking clearly. You wanna make sure you can see some at the top here. So that way it leaves this part, um, the fold, and it doesn't separate. If you were to do it all the way through, it would go two pieces of cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and just run it through. Now if you are making any of the other characters, um, they have perfectly round faces, so this would work quite well. But that guy doesn't have a round face, so what we wanna do is we want to give him a little bit more oval face. So we take it and we push, pull it down just a little bit further. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is still going to show, but it's about another quarter inch further down, and that's really going to give him um, more of an oval face. So I'm going to stick that guy in there and run it through again. And you see how you get more of an oval face there? See that little guy, how it came out kind of crooked um, and not the perfect scallop? That is okay because he is furry and he has all kinds of those little things if you've ever seen any pictures. Um, in fact, what I like to do is take some of my um, little paper snips there and kind of make a little bit on my own just because that's what he has. So. You can see on my original one, I've done that a few times over here, and it looks really cute. And you could do it all the way around if you wanted to, um, but I'm not really interested. 
I just noticed he has it more on the sides here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with that. Okay. And you see it's not a perfect round circle anymore. Very easy now. You just take that snail adhesive, stick those eyes on in the center. And his eyes actually overlap. And you don't want to do it all the way down because um, his, these parts of his eyes are going to be sticking out. So overlap the eyes. And then we're going to come in with the nose. And the nose goes over the eyes. Just a tad there. Okay. Now we need to make the mouth. And the mouth is very easy. Um, you just take your three uh, three inch circle punch and you punch it out on the square on the flat line there. Then once you take that out, you have the mouth. That's it. So go ahead and snail adhesive that down. Is that a cute little guy or what? Then what you're going to want to do, you want to be able to write on the inside. So I took that um, three inch circle punch again and we're going to go ahead and stick that in there to give people room to write on. Look, is that an adorable card? So there's the one I just made. And then this guy, he's even more simple. He is the perfectly round face. So you can do that. You don't even have to do a nose, just the eyes and the mouth, and you've got that cookie guy. And look at that. That's cute little Oscar the Grouch there. And he was a fun one to make. He also has the oval face. Then I used the scallop punches for the eyebrows. All right, beauties, I hope you enjoy, and let me know what you think. Thanks, bye. For more tips and techniques, visit beautythestamper.blogspot.com.